today we are going to study the second topic of biology reproduction in lower and higher animals what is reproduction reproduction is a most important biological process by which an organism produces its own copy having similar genetic makeup or variation may present in next generation in case of sexual reproduction then which are lower animals and which are higher animals we have studied the animal classification in previous standard that is kingdom animalia divides into 10 phyla out of these 10 phyla some few phyla lower phyla included in lower animals and higher chordates are included in higher animals then which are the different types of reproduction one is asexual type of reproduction and second one is sexual type of reproduction in case of asexual reproduction only one parent is required so called as uniparental reproduction and in case of sexual reproduction both parents are required so called as biparental reproduction it is also called as amphimixis why the name is amphimixis here two gametes that is sperm and uh, eggs unite together to forms a zygote and this mechanism is called as amphimixis and therefore sexual reproduction is also called as amphimixis in case of asexual reproduction only one parent is required both sexes are not required therefore called as asexual reproduction uh, gamete formation and fusion is absent in case of asexual reproduction gamete formation and fusion is absent this difference in case of sexual reproduction that is here gametes are formed by the gametogenesis mechanism and this uh, eggs and sperms these are the gametes unite together or fuse together to form a zygote then see here third difference in case of asexual reproduction only mitotic cell division occurs whereas in case of sexual reproduction both mitosis as well as meiotic cell division occurs see here these two are the different types of cell division we have already studied in 11th standard first one that is mitosis mitosis means one parental cell divides into two daughter cells having same number of chromosome here genetical makeup remains same where in case of meiosis one parental cell divides into four daughter cell having half number of chromosome and by this process gamete formation occurs so this meiosis occurs in sexual reproduction and does not occurs in a sexual type of reproduction then last difference that is variation and evolution is absent in a sexual reproduction and variation evolution may occur in sexual reproduction then what is variation variation is nothing but the different appearance of offspring than that of their parents is called as variation such type of variation in case of asexual reproduction does not occurs because they are clones of each other they does not shows any genetic difference in their genetic makeup so called as they are similar to their parents so here variation is absent but in case of sexual reproduction mixing of two different gametes uh, shows mixed type of characteristics in their offsprings here variation is present after many years may evolution occurs by the uh, sexual type of reproduction so these are the main two types of reproduction in case of animal a sexual reproduction it occurs mainly in lower animals and sexual reproduction it occurs in higher animals then which are the various types of a sexual reproduction in case of lower animal a sexual reproduction occurs by gemel formation budding or regeneration mechanism then what is gemel gemel is an internal bud which is only found in phylum porifera one of the example is spongila see here this diagram shows uh, tiers of uh, spongila here outer membrane inner membrane inside the inner membrane there are presence of gemels these gemels are nothing but the mass of dormant cells or archeocytes this archeocyte externally covered by amebocyte cells and forms a gemel such type of gemels only form during unfavorable condition what is unfavorable condition that is not appropriate water requirement or temperature is present uh, during this season then this condition is called as unfavorable condition 
after returns of the favorable condition genuine hatches into uh, uh, offsprings or next generation here such type of uh, reproduction occurs in case of porifera phylum porifera one of the example is spongilla then second type of asexual reproduction is budding budding mainly found in phylum selenterata and ascidians also show such type of reproduction one of the example is hydra see here this in this diagram hydra shows a small bud at towards the basal end of the body this cylindrical body shows elevation at the basal end so it is called as bud and this bud grows on develops tentacles around the anterior part as like parental hydra and this matured or young hydra becomes mature detaches from the parental hydra and grow as a new individual and this mechanism is called as budding found in hydra in case of hydra budding occurs during favorable condition whereas in case of gemmules budding occurs during unfavorable condition see this difference that is gemmule formation only occurs during unfavorable condition and budding occurs during favorable condition example of gemmule that is spongilla whereas example of budding is hydra next type that is regeneration regeneration means lost part of the body may regrow and wound healing mechanism or repair mechanism occurs in variety of animals maybe in lower animals also in case of higher animals nails hairs when cutted then it regrows or repairs and regeneration occurs but in case of planaria reproduction occurs by regeneration mechanism in which one entire parent divides or fragments into two equal anterior and posterior part here anterior part and posterior part when separated from each other then it develops into new planaria this mechanism is called as fragmentation mainly occurs in planaria it is one of the example of regeneration mechanism that is a sexual reproduction so these are the three types of a sexual reproduction gemmule formation budding and regeneration so today we have completed the types of reproduction in which first one is a sexual reproduction second one is sexual reproduction which are the differences between these two types of reproduction and various types of a sexual reproduction later on we will get into the sexual reproduction in case of sexual reproducing animal the entire life span divides into two phases first phase is juvenile phase whereas second phase is reproductively mature phase during juvenile phase only physical growth occurs whereas in case of uh, reproductive maturity phase the animal produces secondary sexual characteristics sex organs are well developed and reproduction only occurs in reproductively mature phase here in sexually reproducing animals the animal breeds in two types breeding pattern is of two types first one that is continuous breeders and second one is seasonal breeders seasonal breeders only breeds during specific season one of the example is dog dogs breeds during only rainy season so in this seasonal breeders breeds only during specific season whereas continuous breeders animals breeds during throughout the year or any season so called as continuous breeder one of the example is human or apes so in case of uh, this is introductory part of reproduction in lower and higher animal in next lecture we will get uh, the detailed process of human reproduction and starts from first that is male reproductive system thank you